Does your saw not turn on every time or not turn on at all? Will it not turn off? If so, it's time to take a look at the switch. Due to frequent use, most power tool switches will eventually fail. Once it fails, the switch might not turn on at all. It might turn on some of the time, but not every time. And sometimes a switch can stick on. This is a very dangerous problem and should be fixed immediately. A bad switch will have many of the same symptoms as a bad cord or motor brushes, so you'll want to do a little testing with a multimeter to isolate the problem. Replacing a bad switch is a repair that you can easily do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. We'll begin by removing the top half of the handle. Now I can remove the switch from the saw and remove the wires from the switch. Now I can install the wires onto the new switch. I'll replace them in the same locations that I removed them from. The black motor wire on the bottom, the black cord wire just above it, and then the white wires on the other side. Again, the white motor wire on the bottom, and the white cord wire on top. Now secure the switch back to the handle. You'll notice that there's two screw holes. You want to use the hole that's closest to the body of the switch. The other hole is used by a screw that passes through the handle. And with the switch secure, now I can go ahead and begin to tuck away all of the wires. I'll finish up by reinstalling the half of the handle. I like to use a screwdriver to start the screws so that I don't strip them out. Then I'll finish up with an impact driver. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 